Here's part six of it, squeezy corpse. So Tran just left Luke alone in his place. They just technically broke up and Tran is like, you know what? I got nowhere else to go. I'm gonna hit up Jay. Remember, Jay had just unalived that punk kid from the streets and his body is still splayed out on the bed. Blood everywhere. So Tran come a knockin' 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 at Jay's door. Jay opens the door and Tran's like, hey, um, how you doing? Uh, you free to take some pictures? And Jay's like, oh, shit. Uh, uh, who are you? Tran's just like, for real, dog? Oh, 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 yeah, right. Uh, sorry, it's it's been a morning. Um... I haven't taken a shower yet. Just woke up. It's been a bender of a night. Haha. -ha. Lol. Confused emoji face. Do you mind coming back in an hour? Actually, I'm going to clean a few things up. Um, kind of got sick all over the bed sheets last night. It's kind of gnarly. Tran's like, yeah, uh, sure. I can go and be back in, back in an hour for sure. And so Tran left real quick. And Jay gets to business. Within an hour, he had the kid's body out the door, in bags, in a dumpster, bed sheets in the washer, blood stains cleaned up. Bro cleaned up an entire crime scene real quick. He hopped in the shower, cleaned off any evidence, then boom! Lovely household fit for the family. So Tran came back over, and he didn't really know what he was expecting, but he know he wanted love and comfort and other things. So remember, Jay is kind of a psychopath, and he doesn't really understand human emotions, and he's just kind of there coasting. Oh my gosh, look at that tail. <laughs> she wants me to give her treats, but she gets the brush instead. So Tran came back, and Jay invited him in. He's like, oh, yeah, pff, what did you want to do? So they started making out. Uh, Tran wanted some physical comfort. Jay was here for it. Um, but Tran was kind of emotionally all over the place since he had just left his long-term boyfriend. He got kicked out of his parents' house. He also did a bunch of drugs the other day, so his emotions were very, very on high alert. So Jay had the radio on as they were trying to get to the hanky spankies, and boom, Lush Rimbaugh's radio show comes on. And remember, that is Luke's secretive radio show for the gay community. Tran froze as soon as he heard Luke's character's voice. He sat there in bed and listened to the radio, but he also tried to ignore it and tried not to look like he was bothered by it. But then Lush Rimbaugh's like, this song goes out to a partner that I've just lost. Uh, miss you. Hope you're doing well. But also, kind of fuck you. And then he plays a song dedicated to Tran without saying Tran's name. And this sent Tran reeling. He had an emotional breakdown. He collapsed on the floor, crying. He screamed at the radio, he shut it off, and he's like, nah, fuck you, fuck you, and he sobbed, and Jay sat like a, like a statue on the bed, completely checked out, like, oh, what's up with this guy, and he just, like, very stoic, he didn't really read any interest in what was going on, he was just kind of weirded out and turned off by his sudden outburst. So Tran quickly explained, like, yeah, that was actually my my boyfriend. We just broke up. Uh, went over the quick timeline of their relationship. He was pretty abusive. Uh, he did get physical with me after a bit. He's dealing with a heroin uh, addiction, and he was pretty violent the last time I saw him. In fact, huh, funny story, uh, he's been injecting me with his own blood, so I get... Uh, infected with his three-letter specific disease that he and everyone else in the community seems to have today. So there's that. So, you know, you, <laughs> Jay, and 
if you and I did anything, I can't get any of my bodily fluids on you because I probably have the disease. And Jay's like, um, yeah, I think I need you to leave. This is a little, this is too much for me. You can come back later when you're, um, not as too, too emotional, uh, calm down, ma'am. So Tran left the apartment, but before he did, he went into the bathroom real quick to get a breather to go to the bathroom. And then he just kind of sat there for a second looking at his reflection in the mirror and he kind of snooped around the the bathroom. You know, as one does, kind of opening cabinets, being like, ooh, what you got in here? And in one drawer, there was a ton of used adult toys um, with blood all over them. And he's like, yeah, yeah that's kind of weird, but also kind of get it. That's kinky, I guess. And then in the very bottom drawer, there was a collection of strands of hair, like a wad of different strands of hair. And I believe that this is Jay's trophy drawer. If you know much about true crime and serial unalivers, um, typically they keep trophies from all of their victims that they have hurt. And the hair, I guess, represented all of his trophies. So I believe that Tran just found Jay's trophy drawer. Come here. Come here. Come to the brush. So Tran saw this and he's like, yeah, that's a little weird. I get it. Jay's kind of an eccentric guy, but who among us isn't a little odd and keeps locks of hair from people. So Tran quickly left after that, thinking that the, the encounter was weird, but he planned on coming back at some point and redoing the entire fiasco, hoping that he could have an actual pleasant quality time with Jay. And Jay's like, yeah, this is weird. Um kind of turned off for the day, kind of want you to leave. So he did.